ultimate income milestone that we strive for as adults. I can remember daydreaming about making six figures by the age of 25 because I thought that if I made six figures, I would then be successful. And I can bet I'm not the only one. But I'm going to break down why six figures isn't exactly what you thought it would be. Hi, I'm Shane of The Well Five, and I create videos to help you eliminate debt, grow your income, and build wealth. Well, I can tell you this, that I never actually made a six-figure income in my 20s. But recently, I was on the path to earning a six-figure income. And it's not what you think it is. And it made me question whether having a six-figure income is actually worth it. Hit the like button if you thought that making six figures was the first and only path towards making a million dollars. I'll admit that I definitely thought that was the case. And while I was a teenager, I thought that a lot of adults were striving to make six figures. And I saw them work hard to do that. And actually now those same adults have not even hit the six figure mark. But I thought that I would be different and that I was smarter and that I would be able to make six figures by the time I was 25 and then I would become a millionaire by 30. Simple, right? It's not so simple. Although millennials are making more money than any other generation for their age group over the last 50 years, the median income is still less than $100,000. Now some millennials, about a 10, have been able to make over $100,000. But there are some millennials that haven't been able to make it, actually the majority of millennials that haven't been able to make that much money, and about 31% of them believe that they will never in their lifetime make $100,000. And that seems really sad to me. But then I kind of think about the whole scope of making six figures and I wonder is it actually really sad or not? I was actually surprised to find that only a tenth of millennials are making over six figures because with the rise of technology and all of the people who are making buku money in San Francisco in those technology firms and all the YouTubers and Instagram influencers who are making hundreds of thousands, even millions of dollars, I thought that more millennials were making more than six figures. Although in general, millennials are making more money, the cost of living is much higher. And we already know about inflation, so that's to be expected that the cost of living is much higher. But the purchasing power of our paychecks today is less than it was 40 years ago. Yes. 40 years ago. We are not able to buy the same things that you could have bought in 40 years ago because the cost of education, housing, and even some of our necessities are much, much higher and we can't afford them despite the amount of money that we're making. And the average millennial has about $36,000 of debt. So we have to make a lot more money to be able to not only cover our necessities, but also to cover our debt. And so we used to think that making a million dollars was the ultimate milestone and that would have us covered for life, <laughs> especially in retirement. But now the numbers are actually showing that millennials would need to have about $2 million to be able to live comfortably. So that means we can't go around anymore saying, I want to be a millionaire. We actually need to go around saying we want to be two millionaires because a million dollars just isn't going to cut it nowadays, okay? So not only is six figures not really worth six figures, especially when you compare it to four decades ago, we also have to work much harder to be able to make six figures nowadays. In 2017, 78% of millennial women worked 50 weeks over the course of a year, compared to 72% of women in 2000. So naturally, you would think that women would make more money because they are working harder in 2017 compared to 2000, but that's not the case. They've only made about $2,000 more. So in the year 2000, women made a salary of on average of $37,000. And in 2017, they made an average salary of $39,000. So you can see from that that women are working harder and not really for much more money. Usually people who make six figures from their job who are employed like W-2 workers, they usually fall into this bucket of an exempt salary status. 
So that means that they have to work until the job is done. And so there really aren't any set limitations on how many hours they have to work. So when it comes to earning a six-figure salary, many of the times you are working hours and hours on end until the job gets done. And so a lot of the times you're making a lot less money per hour, especially if you're putting in weeks of work that extend past like 50 hours, even 80 hours. You're putting a lot of work in to make a less of a return. Making six figures may not seem like it's worth it if you have to put in much more hours of work and then it ends up devaluing the dollar that you make. But on the flip side, making six figures is definitely worth it due to the high cost of living. And you pretty much need to strive for making six figures nowadays in order to get by. I don't know about you, but earning six figures is the minimum goal for me. And then once I do accomplish multiple six figures, the next goal is to be a seven figure income earner and beyond. For that reason, I think it's super important for you to strive for six figures if you aren't already making a six figure income. And there are several ways that you can try to earn a six figure income. And the first way that you can do that is trying to increase the amount of money that you make through your primary job. And you can increase your income either through raises or by changing your job. So when we talk about raises, for the average millennial, their income is about $69,000 a year. And with the average raise of about 3.1%, and sometimes it's less than that, sometimes it's even like only one or 2%. But if we're using a number of 3.1% raise every year, starting with a base salary of $69,000 a year, it would take the average millennial 13 years to earn a six-figure salary. So a lot of people are going a different route. They're actually choosing to change jobs in order to increase their salary over time. Because usually when you go for a different job at a new company, they're going to give you a different salary and they're going to expect to pay you more than you were making before. And that's really because either you are changing your positions, you're moving to higher positions, or they see you a value coming from a competitor or something of that nature and they're willing to pay you a bit more. And when you're moving in a lateral position, either moving from the same title that you had at one company to the same title at a new company, you can even get about a 10% raise just by changing companies. And if you are doing a promotion, going from one title up to the next step on a ladder, you're definitely going to be able to make more. And so you're able to increase your salary at a steeper rate than you would be able to do through raises because that increase would be very gradual and by changing jobs you're able to do it at a much faster rate and get to the six figure mark much much quicker and the bonus about trying to increase your salary through your primary job either through raises or by changing companies you're able to bring yourself more notoriety and more responsibility if that's what you're looking for because some people like to be able to grow on their job they don't want to be stuck in one position and they also don't want to be stuck with the same routine because if you think about it if you are going to be working for 30 to 40 years do you really want to be doing the same thing for all of those decades so by getting raises and by by changing your job and actually increasing your salary you're able to switch it up a bit so it adds a little bit of diversity and interest to the things that you're doing you can also get to the six-figure mark by diversifying your income so you can either do that through your primary job as an employee or you can not be an employee either and so you can diversify your income in two ways so the first way to diversify your income is to get a side hustle so you know I am the queen of side hustling here on YouTube and I have tons of videos about side hustling and how you can increase your income and that's the way that I was able to get out of thousands of dollars of debt because I picked up a side hustle and so if you're interested in checking out videos about side hustles click the link up above so that you can find more about different side hustles that you can do to be able to increase your overall income and get you closer to that six figure mark. Now with doing a side hustle, the benefit of doing that is that you're able to do something typically that doesn't cause a lot of stress. You're able to make money, but it's really simple, 
either something that you enjoy or just something that you are really good at and it's easy for you to do and it doesn't require you to put in a lot of energy to be able to bring in this money so I really like side hustles for that reason and that's really the reason why I went that route initially while I was trying to pay off debt because you know that I am a researcher and as a researcher I had a lot of thinking to do and it took up a lot of brain power on my regular nine to five job and I didn't want to be able to do that to bring in extra income I wanted something that was so simple and that would bring me in money so I chose to go the side hustling route to get me towards the six figure income mark now the other way to diversify your income and get you to the six figure mark and beyond is to start a business you can start a business while you are an employee, while you are side hustling, or just by itself. You just want to be a small business owner on its own. And with starting a business, there is a lot more responsibility placed on you. But the great thing is that the income potential is unlimited. But there is going to be a ramp up period when it comes to generating income with your business because there are going to be weeks and months and maybe even years where you do not actually turn a profit that you're able to bring an income through but once you do hit that point where you are profitable and you're able to pull a salary from your business like I said the income potential is unlimited and you can not only hit the six-figure mark but also potentially become a millionaire or billionaire and so that is an awesome way to be able to increase your income and get you on that journey towards making lots of money. So definitely consider starting a business. But you might be thinking that starting a business is not your cup of tea because it does require a lot of energy. It requires a lot of mental power, a lot of time, a lot of everything, a lot of resources to just a lot, a lot, a lot. And you might just be thinking, hey, I just want to make money on the side through a side hustle. And as I mentioned, if you're interested in checking out a side hustle to be able to bring your income up to the six figure mark, definitely check out this video right here because it's going to help you get a head start towards making six figures. Now, I appreciate you for watching. I hope that you are subscribed and you hit the notification bell so you can see more videos that I put out on generating more income.